Hey there everybody, welcome to the championship match of season 39 here in the Dominion League. I am getting ready to play N.A. Smith 99. Um, we go so the the current standings I have two points more than him and so I have to win two and a half games to clinch and he has to win four to clinch by two looks quite nice here um, pretty easy to five looks pretty easy to I think I just go with the bridge troll I mean I guess you could think about like mine I don't know no <laughs> I don't think so. Um, he also has the 5 2. So no one's getting uh, an advantage there. Uh, you probably do want a silver. It can be a little hard to hit your price points when you're under attack. Um, depending <clears throat> but you don't want too many of course they'll get in your way here He mirrors, which I think, you know, to me that looks fine. And I think even a second one, I mean, it could just be, again, the silvers aren't great, but you do want to buy city quarters and you do want to buy bridge troll. I mean, while you're under attack. So you do need some cash here. Maybe the opening's mine, so you can play with Royal Blacksmith more easily. I'm not sure. I have to think. I'm just double border guard here. It's not 100% clear to me, but. There's certainly useful cards for this deck. Um, finding the spot to get the city quarter might be a little bit tricky. suppose you can do blacksmiths just as a uh, more or less a cycling thing. Not that you expect to keep get much hand size out of them. They might work in conjunction with a city corner. It's just hard to say that you really want one over a city corner at any given point. That seems a bit of a harder sell. He follows. Uh, this isn't super clear to me, but I think I like it okay. Certainly does. So he didn't get to cycle as far as me, but I mean he'll get to on this next shuffle for sure. And he picked up two border guards, which is nice. Or pretty nice. Um, it's really hard to say. I think one more silver is okay, but it's not easy to to say that it's good. So I think he has six border guards. I don't know where the window's over there.
some point. Yeah, I mean, at some point you have to just bite the bullet and buy some of these things. Even though cash is like clearly a problem. I guess he can think about it, but I don't I don't think it's right yet. But what do I know? I mean the one thing you can I guess it's helpful if you know they're playing a bridge troll. I mean if you get a really good shuffle for it, yeah. But you could still get a sad one at this point. Pretty sad one. Uh da, 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 da. <clears throat> Hopefully he has a not a good one. Like yeah, he's just tossing it there. Uh this is shoot. How bad is it? It's like really pretty bad, right? Well, I mean, I guess if I use it as a debt paying thing, it's not the worst thing in the world, but um, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Like, bad enough, it's not clear at all it was worth doing. still be in that here. It's probably clear that it was not worth doing. Probably more accurate. It's, yeah, it's actually not clear that City Quarter is like better than Royal Blacksmith for playing bridge trolls anyway. Um, silver okay he didn't get his other thing down so he can either go back into debt again or he can buy a silver by nothing so he goes back into debt uh, um, it's not clear that I'll actually make it out of debt in time to well I might that's a nice draw for him Should just be the silver. I can't play the other one anyway. Well, yeah, I wouldn't have been able to play the other one.
One of these times he's got to not buy a, yeah. Um. Okay, that's not too good. If I think I'm going to find a city quarter, then I need to play the border guard first. But either way, it doesn't draw much, so it's better just to go further this way, I think. I mean, one thing I can try to do is just have like so many more bridge rolls. I guess you can also villa around Royal Blacksmith. I didn't think about that. Shoot, we should have been doing that. I'll pick one up this time, I think. Well, it depends on how much money I have. But. I might trigger here. What are the likelihood? I mean, if I trigger, I really don't want to discard the estate. What are the, what's the likelihood of me getting through the the shuffle here? When did I shuffle? Um, I guess pretty low. Man, I bomb deck. I bomb deck the bridge troll again. But I think I have to do it. Like it's the same problem. Well, it's not. It's not as bad. There's some other stuff in here. Um. So I have a big bridge troll split. I don't know if that's enough to win, but I mean, it's enough to win on the villas at some point. Which I don't even know if he got enough to do that. Well, the villas can almost pay for themselves. Uh, maybe I need points. I didn't think about that. There's I can also night watchmen which can help. Tunnel doesn't help, right? Because if he gets four bridge trolls in play and he's or three or whatever, he'll have the excess buys. Regardless, hmm, yeah, this could be a problem. I don't think it helps, but maybe double night watchman. I don't know. This could be trouble. We'll see if he takes the city. Okay, he didn't take the city quarter, so it's not trouble. Um,
I'm pretty much just banking on getting Bridge Trolls in play across a couple of turns. And him not firing off on a turn, essentially. Um, okay. So this is pretty easy. It's not a win yet. What do I want? Just horn, right? Okay. What are his buys? They're not that high. How many bridge trolls did I actually get? Yeah, the problem is it displays it weirdly. Because I need to know if I can lower this to Five or not. Um, Buys bridge troll. Okay, so it's one, one, two. I get my second one. I get my third and fourth one. My fifth. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I get my fifth one, sixth, and seventh. So I have seven. So he only have four buys. Um, she gets three down. Maybe you don't want to discard a copper. <clears throat> no, you do. Well, you can get stuck without. Well, you need more than just one coin if they play a thing, so yeah. What he hit? Okay, not that much. Wow, there are almost a hundred people watching. That's crazy. I 
I wasn't even paying attention to the turn I bought the. Probably I had to win the turn I bought these, right? When it applies, how many? I don't know how much. I don't know what I had here. If I had three bridge tools in play already, I probably could have just won <laughs> just right then. I, I kind of missed it. But I should be good here. I think it's guaranteed. But I, th I probably, I'd have to go back and check. But I may have had, when I did this, I may have already had the win and I just didn't take it. That'd be pretty funny. Pretty stupid of me. Where did I do it? So it was on turn 14, what I'm doing at the end of the turn. Yeah, I had three down. Yeah, I could have, <laughs> that's so bad. I could have just emptied the villas on this turn. And one, jeez, I I didn't deserve to win this. I was too stupid. So I should just play this so it goes faster. I think it makes it. I don't know what's worse to make him do the. Probably I also had just a tunnel finish. I don't know. Sorry. I think I had the win back in the. That's really bad. <laughs> Cause you get the three, you get three full bucks. Yeah. Uh, stupid me. All right. That was so stupid. I just didn't notice when they were at one dollar. Well, I didn't get punished, though I deserved to be punished for that kind of bad play. Uh, this has another price reduction board. We have um, lots of action we have ox i mean you just cram your deck full of actions just go for it basically I'll get another engineer here. 
You got the double estate trade. I mean, this this is fine. I got the blade. That's all I really wanted. It would be nice to. He may have had collision as well. Um, <clears throat> that was really bad. I'm so ugh. this will, this win is like worse than I'm losing for my mental. engagement in the next game. So he did have all three estates there, which isn't necessarily exactly what you want, but I think I'm gonna go Herald Bridge well maybe Menagerie Bridge. Maybe Menagerie Herald. I guess Menagerie Bridge. And I'll pay, I'll buy another engineer. I'm just going to keep getting them. Could be Menagerie, Menagerie, I guess, also. It's not totally crazy. I'm less interested in the Double Herald. I mean, I'm not totally sure about the bridge, but it seems okay-ish. I think I should have probably done double menagerie or menagerie herald, but we'll be okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm willing to keep hitting these. Nice herald. Probably I just draw an engineer here and miss, right? I mean, okay, like what? It, <laughs> I'm gonna lose if the first two Herald plays both hit. Like, I'm, I can't do that much about that. If you gain the double Heralds and they both hit, I mean, okay. <laughs> it's good. Good. I'm glad for you. Uh, I'll just trash here, I think. play. I'll play the Menagerie. I mean, certainly I'm going to lose, but... It's like the last Engineer is, like, too far, probably. But. Um, I don't think Heralds are that big a deal, to be honest. This is pretty likely to draw an Engineer dead. Um, but I think they're pretty good. I mean, I'm going to lose. His deck's already completely clean. I mean, unless he screws up, I guess. But I don't, I don't imagine he will. So he goes to the flag bar already. It's interesting. Um, man, I may just let him have it. I don't know that I want one more than the gains I can get otherwise. It doesn't matter. He, he can end within like a turn or two before I ever draw deck. It's completely hopeless. Not, it's not even really clear to me that you want a Denison, but... I 
it's it should be good it should be pretty good for him yeah like I need this to be something else so that I can at least draw a little bit this is steward then I have some sort of term but this won't work my last two cards are steward and bridge I mean I play on I guess but it doesn't it doesn't work I guess if I had gotten the uh, the flag bearer, then I would have kicked off here. So no, no, I still would have had the two conference. Well, if it had been the steward, I could have played both these as necro and trashed and drawn a little bit. So that's something. I'm a little surprised. Oh, yeah, he did. Okay, never mind. Just buy whatever. I mean, I guess he can fold. Well, he can't really dead, can he? He has too much, too much extra draw. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he can't. I mean, if I could stack his deck, I think I can make him dead. But if he adds any payload here, which I'm actually surprised he blew up both engineers now. Um, certainly blowing up one looks reasonable, two looks a little worse to me. I don't, I don't know what you needed to, it, it won't matter, <clears throat> he'll be fine either way. He just buy a bunch of menageries And a bridge or something like that. <clears throat> oh, was that other turn? Geez. That other turn I also had to... Man, I'm just... Uh, the turn the turn I was talking about setting up I don't I don't even want to think about it. This is like one of my worst <clears throat> worst plays of all time the last game, and it was a win. It's just like just terrible that somehow I got away with that. 
Right, because everything was three dollars, or the the tunnels in the Night Watchman was zero. So the the villas were also already one on that one turn. Just so stupid. incredibly dumb I don't know why It's worse for the villa thing because I was talking about it too. Like it wasn't like I was unaware of it. I was just totally failing to recognize that I could do it already. Which is really embarrassing. I wonder if I can win with a stacked draw. Probably not. I mean, depending on its buys, but probably not. It was pretty weird that he didn't get... that he got rid of it. Engineer. I probably don't even have the actions to bring all the payload to bear if I wanted to. We bought an engineer last time. Did he not play his engineer? I'm confused. Oh, I see. He didn't get to the end of his deck quite. Well, this is not the hand to do it, but in theory, I think this hand could pile. Um... The only question is whether I need to do this in case I flip Menagerie. Like, I need to trash right off the bat. Um, or whether you play the Herald. Like, what are the hits? I have to draw deck, right? So I need... It just doesn't make any sense. None of it makes any sense. What would a win look like? <clears throat> Nothing. There's no, I'm not going to catch him in points. It doesn't look like anything. I guess I should have done two coppers. What more would I have seen even? There's not, I mean, there's like not like more payload really. Is there? There might be, no, 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 I play both the heralds. It's probably like a, oh, it's an estate. So there's not like more payload. Um. Yeah, it's, we can just.
like what whatever it doesn't matter Man, okay, I gotta reset. I don't, why do I have a... Okay. This is a nice little board. I guess you either open Sewers Remake or like Wishing Well Remake. Um, Yeah, the real question is whether the quicker trashing is more important than than I guess just having wishing wells. Um, how do I get the how do I get this art to load? It goes with the sewers. Which is fine. Basically, the sewers is like a chapel, super chapel kind of thing. It takes smugglers already. This is uh, this is a state remake. Well, let me think. Am I ready for a smugglers? I can get one off the last. The last remake play. The gains here are fairly limited, or at least the nature of the gains. 
you cannot just get whatever you want. You're limited by what you can smuggle and what you can remake. Um, this is like almost all coppers. There's a remake in here, but. So is remake and copper is just a question of what what I'm okay with him being able to smuggle, I guess. Coupled with what I'd like to have on top. Um, my buys probably don't look super different. In either case, I mean, if I get the, I kind of would like to get the remake. And then the question is, do I do another lab? Or do I go ahead and get the plaza? Collision isn't that likely. But, okay. Well, this is what I have. I guess the question is what do I want to allow? I mean, he could, he could buy either one, so. I'll just buy a lab here. It would have been nice to get some colony points this turn, but. It's just not in the cards. This is like all the coppers. So the wishing should be pretty easy. There's really a limit to like how much you can do here per turn. <clears throat> like do you just buy another plaza? Do you buy a lab? What do you get? It's not clear. It's not clear to me anyway. It's not. Um, I don't think we need to do gain and play here. I'm going 
gonna shuffle through, I guess, unless I find I haven't drawn the lab. I mean, I could remake a couple things, but. Um, like, I could get a gold, I guess, but. Do the horses, I mean, I guess he's using the horses as a way of doing more exciting remake stuff in the end I think that's the idea I just don't know how much it does for you I guess potentially is pretty nice you really have six wishing wells? I'm confused. I don't know, there's five. I get confused this is this black. It's one wishing well. Um, Maybe Plaza is the worst thing I could have bought. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I get the sleigh idea. It's like a fuel for remake stuff, but. I guess I could have gotten the, the sleigh myself. But. I think as long as we stay somewhat competitive on the labs okay hard to say though Did he smuggle four plots? Okay. It's possible he might start doing pillage stuff. I would be, I would start to worry a little bit about drawing his position. Maybe, maybe not. He buys a lab, or he just buys a wishing well, it might be okay. So he goes with the lab. 
This could be pretty sad. There aren't, I mean, it's still copper, right? There aren't that many, but it's still copper. Um, well, there are five coppers, right? So three left still. Do I need to draw anything up here or just take a lab, just smuggle lab by lab, get a couple tokens? I guess I might as well give myself a shot at It's not the most exciting remake in the world, I guess. Well, I can remake one lab into gold. Maybe that's bad, but... Would be nicer if now I'm trying to think how I want to do this. That's probably not the correct way, if I had to guess. <clears throat> my goal, I mean, my thing is, my thinking, he may do pillages at some point. That could be a pain. Uh, my thinking is that well I don't know what he's going to do so we'll just have to wait and see he may go like lab pillage still four copper yeah. it's a little scary yeah if he can remake and smuggle one of the lab yeah Remake fours if he has the force to do it. <clears throat> I guess the other thing I could do is pressure three piles in some fashion, but. And whatever he takes away from me, I can at least get a smuggle and get a colonnade by that's worth points, which isn't terrible for this board. To get the 8 4 here. Can't, can't villain and pillage.
Seven gone. He, I have two. One's in the trash. So he has four closets. So he gets the lab. Okay. Okay, so at least at the moment, pillage does not appear to be on his radar. Um which is useful to me for sure. Um, I can gain a gold, okay, I will. What's left in here? There's like a copper and two wishing wells and a plaza and some other thing. Okay. Um. I don't know if he's going to add a pillage. He's going to have to add something. He can he can always do duchies, but that's not I don't know, it's not clear to me if he can hold that many duchies to make up for like a bad province split if he plays for a really long long game. <clears throat> But I, I mean, I, I guess I should probably lose. It's five four on labs because I remade one, but I have four wishing wells which I can hit with okayishly. I'm not going to keep hitting with them as much as I have been, but with some deck tracking, I can hit some, and I can hit. They can do overdraw really well. Um, so if I, you know, manage to have quite a few tokens stored up. By the end, that'll be nice. Uh, I mean, it would be nice to have enough stored up so that the, uh, like a pillage hit doesn't wreck a turn, keep a turn from provincing, if that's, you know, feasible. I don't know. Right now he has some overdraw. Once he starts gaining duchies, that may disappear a little bit. Get the poacher, that's kind of weird. Doesn't Poacher just seem like worse than Plaza? Maybe he thinks that 
maybe the idea is that that would be something I wouldn't want to smuggle. Well, but then he gained a plaza. I would think Poacher just looks... It's not like strictly worse than Plaza, um, but it looks worse than Plaza to me. Oh, he's just doing it on a, as a stepping, stepping stone, as it were. Can he draw everything? Oh, he's got the horses. Okay. Uh, it's not totally clear to me which of these, but I guess it's probably the plaza. Oh no, I did the bad wish. I did the bad wish. That was a bad man. I would mean I would have loved to get the gold. Not the plaza, but the gold. <clears throat> I would have been happy to get it anyway. I may be able to remake into something and draw it. Like I may be able to do a pillager of villain myself. Yeah, I mean, I I did a stupid wish. Like, the first vill wishing well should always be copper. It's just stupid. Second one can be lab, but... First one should have been copper. It was bad. There are still... Well, there's only two coppers, right? And it's not clear. Not only two. Yeah, yeah, There was only one in... Or there wasn't any, right? Yeah, yeah. There weren't even any coppers in there. So, that was not... Um, that was not that big of a deal. If you assume I want to like try and actually draw a deck. That wasn't that much of a misplay. Or it's not clear it was. It actually should have, could have been, I mean it could have been Provence or whatever. They could have wished for a stop card certainly, but. He's starting in on his duchies, which is fine. Can live with that. Maybe. It's not actually clear I can live with that, but <laughs> I'm going to try to live with it. If I had gotten two tokens, yeah, the last turn could have been much much better but that's life he's at least not really accumulating a lot of coffers either okay so there's two wells two plazas a copper and a province. Okay.
He's going to be able to get a lot of duchy. <coughs> How do I do if I trash the coppers? Pretty bad. We're just going to get to a, uh, <coughs> I guess I can do three duchies if I draw. Um, so that's something. He can't just take as many as he'd like. I may get to, I mean, depending on how hard he greens, I may just go for it. I think I might just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Like I think well, he doesn't have oh he has six one no, they're in the trash. I was like he's six horses in deck. No, all the horses are in the trash. So unless I missed a card, I don't believe he has any overdraw. I think it's this is it. So he can gain the horses, of course, and then next turn he would have it. Um and he can smuggle for a duchy, and then he can remake. Uh, well, he may not have that many remake targets either. I'm not sure. It feels like he must have more cards in deck. I'm just not sure. Oh, there's another lab. Never mind. There's just an entire another lab. So he puts in three cards to give himself a shot at uh, leaving, leaving one horse. So like now I can't province, but I really can't duchy either because like duchy will lose. I mean I'll have to province more or less because uh, this is like I can't. Um, it's like if I take triple duchy. He'll just do double duchy by a prominent. Well, that won't end. Well, that will end it, you know. <coughs> well, we just have to see. I mean, maybe I can take one duchy. He might be able to quad. That seems a little far fetched. The idea of him quadding, anyway. Um, definitely I could just fail to draw in various ways So what's left? There's a lab, a smuggler's, lab smuggler's duchy province. No, 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 I have the only duchy. You know, lab smuggler's, lab smuggler's well province. Hmm. 
If I double dutch, double dutchy looks really bad. How does double dutchy province look? Pretty bad. Anything involving, almost any lowering. Almost any lowering will be pretty bad. Uh, I might be able to do colonnade plus duchy. That'll still lose to quad duchy, but maybe quad duchy is sort of hard for him. I, it's not though. <laughs> it's just not. He just has to find his lab with. Um, I mean, colonnade. Nothing. Colonnade nothing is probably not sufficient. I guess this has some odds of uh, being sad or being extra sad. What it like? <clears throat> what is the actual hardest th hardest thing for him to do? Probably involved double duchy province is probably the hardest. But that ship has sailed. What does just colonnade do for me? Very little. If I do that, and he provinces and double duchies, I guess I can technically catch that. <clears throat> he can gain a wishing well, which yeah, doesn't help him that much. Everything feels so losing. I could have tried for like a pillage, I guess. Because one advantage is I took the duchies off. Definitely drew. <clears throat> I mean, with this hand, he could have done anything.
my problem is lacking another four <clears throat> so that I can plausibly threaten quad duchy. Though maybe I could have just could have done no, there wasn't a way for me to play a four and buy like I couldn't play a remake because it's not optional. I couldn't have played a remake and gotten the bottom of the remake to get colony points and add a four. Otherwise, that would have been pretty good. Um. <clears throat> I mean, eventually he's going to beat me off the extra gain stuff, I think. Like, I don't see how I'm going to get to a finish here, but... We know he's probably still has the other horse. I think he did. I think he didn't draw with the, one of the horses because he knew it on top deck before. I guess you could just leave the whatever down there, but. He still has a bunch of plazas on play. And I mean, I guess his turn. I guess he could have stop cards, but I, that seems unlikely. Fully. I could have bought a smugglers instead of the wishing well, though that I'm not sure that would have panned out in my favor. But maybe, maybe it should have been the smugglers. I didn't think of that. The, well, but I couldn't play a smugglers, right? Yeah, yeah. I couldn't play a smugglers. That would lower the touch. Yeah. I don't think there was another card you gained, but maybe I can choose to gain horse and fail. That might be allowed. So I might have been able to make the smugglers do nothing. Maybe that was the better play to buy it. But then he just kind of delays. He buys smugglers this turn or gets them. Though at that point then... Just the point situation is different. Like if he does try to score it all, it's just different. <coughs> How many plazas are in the trash? Just a one. So he has seven. So he still has four on play. Jeez. Yikes. I can see smugglers. That's the buy I should have made. It would make him getting duchies really hard, but then I guess he would just bite his time. It wouldn't have improved my ability on the following turn to like score and buy province. I mean, it wouldn't have improved my like without him gaining duchy anyways. <coughs> Though it's possible he would have probably gained something and that could have maybe helped me. Oh well, too late. Um, he's also going to have an op on a turn where I do a duchy, he's going to have an option to turn his... Uh, <coughs> I guess there's always a chance he just has the duchy empty right now. Though surely you, oh, here he has it in hand. And he buys a duchy. So like nine is not sufficient. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't actually do any math, so <laughs> he did quad. So like nine points is just insufficient. So he has to have done it. I basically have to, uh, if I can, which I doubt, um, 
well, he has four tokens, right? So it's like <laughs> he needs to have a hand of all green. And he can have one thing if I can hit it with the, the pillage. But, um, that's pretty funny. So what are my stop cards? They're still provinces, I guess. <coughs> Uh, this is already pretty bad. I mean, I'm going to make him at least... Uh, this is like three laboratories. <laughs> now I can't even do the... I can't even gain the pillage, right? Yeah, I just can't even gain the pillage. Um... Or anything for that matter, I guess. Well, I'm going to see if he has a hand of all green, I guess. I don't think that's really possible, but. He may have even had that known to be top decked at this point. Um, I would like. I am curious to know that if if I had been able to draw through and gain a pillage and play it, I wonder what it would have looked like. Um, I wonder what his hand looked like. Probably, probably he had more action cards. He just played the gold to end it. Is the most likely thing. So it's 2-1. So far, first player has won every game. As long as that continues, I'm good to go. So, I keep having these boards where I don't get art. It's pretty annoying. This is really annoying because if it's black here, you don't even get the. You don't even get to see what the pile is. All right, we fixed it. So anyway, this is like you can do bishop fortress. 
Um, which is like a pretty pretty good thing to be able to do. Um, I know you open for a temple. Temple silver. I guess you can do a desperation. That doesn't seem very good to me. What are the other? It was cards, win, win, card. Yeah. Temple is pretty nice. Remodel is pretty nice. At some point, I guess we might get into the flag bearers, but I'm not sure. This mantle looks pretty bad. There's no draw, but. Like, does that matter? I guess someone could try to get the provinces emptied here with there being like no draw. I feel like I saw a game once that was a lot like this one. Getting deja vu to a like a game report. He does go with the treasurer. Um I mean it's certainly possible. You're not the person who does Bishop Fortress. What kind of person are you? Someone who empties provinces using some mixture of treasure, remodel, and desperation. probably get there how important is ghost oh you can get multiple ghosts oh that's interesting they could take the haunted woods though they could or the haunted mirror they could have both the haunted mirrors and then what do you do Interesting. Multiple ghosts, day. Eh? Ghost split. There are only six ghosts. There aren't a lot of them. Hopefully he drew his curse in this hand, not in the temple hand. Is it worth it here to say, take a curse? I don't want a curse. I just don't want one. It just doesn't seem good to me. This could be a fortress. This could be like fair. I don't know. Could be the key. It's Temple Miss. He's doing more desperation. Okay. I did forget about that. Um, I did forget about Cemetery. Cemetery, I should re remember.
I could key. Mm. <laughs> we just want to be thin. <clears throat> that was fortunate that he drew this. I mean, that was lucky that he drew the cemetery right away. Um, Druid could be reasonable just as a thing to toss with. Good ghost town. Could just be another fortress. Somehow you have to like keep track of some stuff. Because if he does the Plague Druid. See, he'll, he'll have his thing here, so I can't put it in without. So like now he'll trash his thingy. Well, does he have another action though? He doesn't have another action. He's got to get one first. And I'm triggering an awful shuffle. You like can't. He's got to get another action. Though this next turn, then he's got to draw these ghost towns, so. It's like this thing where you have to get. You have to be able to play the temple. You either have to have two treasures, or you have to play the temple. Um, you have to do what I'm about to do. Because um. <clears throat> you can't really afford, you can't really afford to lose your. Lose your haunted mirror. It's just not safe. 
Like he can do it here. He, I guess he didn't. He bottom decked one of the ghost towns, so he's okay to make it. Or no, he's not, because he's just playing treasure. He must have bottom deck fortress. get it next turn just don't know what else we'll get with it the temple the temple points are like small fry I mean unless the piles are totally gone which I don't think will happen for quite a while um, like it's just not worth taking the temple points they're just too slow compared to bishop stuff I'm going to see three of these cards. Worst thing to leave on the bottom for the ghost would be the... and gains remodel that looks pretty reasonable to me so do we play the dream well yeah we would like to try and draw some of this stuff <clears throat> okay so it went really well that part gotta think here we do this Um, trash copper by well I need to think it might be better to get a fortress or a remodel in a ghost town than to get um, two ghost towns This also gives you more ways to get ghost. I mean, this time he has to have the same, I mean, he has to have the guaranteed thing where he plays a remodel or a treasure, discards something. He'll probably be able to gain his ghost, right? He can play. I don't know if he'll have enough money to buy an action. I guess there's some action. He'll have enough for Druid. But he can um, he can trash the Haunted Mirror, gain a goat. Well, it's not guaranteed to draw it, I guess, because he'll have to discard an action. Yeah, it's not guaranteed. Well, maybe if you get Druid, it's guaranteed. If you remodel, yeah, if you do remodel, no, 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 then that's too, still too many cards. Nothing's guaranteed, as far as I can tell. It's like 50-50 shots. Maybe one of them is like a two-thirds shot or something of playing goes. Um, no, it's not clear you'd even have the actions for that. Well, yeah, you would. You would keep the fortress. Yeah. Yeah, so if you remodel Haunted Mirror into Druid, gain Ghost, and you're discarding Temple, gaining Druid, you have three cards in your discard. You play the... 
for you play the fortress and then like you have like a two-thirds chance of drawing on to the ghost either by playing druid seize gift or by just drawing the ghost um and you still have enough actions to play your treasurer and do whatever you want there <clears throat> So we'll see if that's what he does. All oh, right, there's also fortress. Yeah, so you don't even have to. Um, so he didn't go to go for drawing the. Maybe I'm confused about his hand, but he didn't go for playing the ghost. Maybe I'm just confused about his hand. Uh, none of these should matter. Okay, this is a pretty bad draw. For me. To leave uh, treasure and whatever on the bottom here. Druid. Like, Druid would have been really nice to hit here. Whatever. Anyway, can't do anything about it. So, um... Actually, the cemetery. Hmm, not clear to me. Do a cemetery and buy another druid. Last cards are Druid Temple Treasure. So I probably can trash a lot of this anyway. We probably won't, we probably will get to a three pile. Ghost towns, probably fortresses can end. If I had drawn the druid here, I would be in great shape. Because I would have trashed again and I just would have been off. But it's okay. He's going to take the lead on ghosts.
So he's not going for another ghost this turn. Which is interesting to me. Okay, so we have a remodeled temple. I need to try and find I mean, if we're just going to trash this silver, then it's not that big of a deal. We need to get to the ghost. Okay. Here we have it. There's a fortress left. This can either already be a bishop or it can just be a fortress. I'm going to have another sad Terran, aren't I? Because this is the last copper, last junk card. see three cards I wish I was seeing fewer ghost towns but he takes the temple I'm not a huge fan of that he's not playing a ghost this turn he didn't even give himself a chance of playing a ghost I guess three cards I draw could just all be junk easily or they could be like mostly duration junk I guess is what I mean by junk um, yeah I don't know He goes ahead and gets a bishop. Okay, well. I guess I just do the one, right? I could kill a ghost town here. 
So I don't think that makes a lot of sense. It is what it is. <clears throat> I consider it proper etiquette to trash your own fortresses when they play bishop. consider it mandatory. I guess we're going to end up splitting the ghosts. Or he can get both of them. Who put a haunted mirror in the trash? I didn't know his haunted mirror was in the trash. That was a mistake. I honestly didn't know. Or I would have went ahead and gained a ghost, but that's okay. It's neither here nor there. I just completely missed that he had done that without gaining it back. <clears throat> um. Okay, so can win the ghost split pretty big here. So now I have to decide. Temple's last card. Basically I have to decide if I want to win the ghost split versus playing a bishop here. Um, or no, I just straight up can't do it. I'm just mistaken. Um, okay, so given that fact, hmm. Man, I should have done it last turn. I was just dumb. Well, I still wouldn't have it wouldn't have done anything. Okay, so do I want the temple? Maybe I can do it. So if I treasure if I remodel this into a druid discard druid bishop, gain it back, bishop gain it.
maybe want to trash the temple. And it's something I can decide during my turn. So now he's going to want it in the game. I guess will be his goal, which should be pretty doable in time, I guess, probably. Well, he's got zero ghost towns or ghosts coming down now, so. I'm not sure. Yeah, I got like I guess he probably just wants to end it. <clears throat> or we can. So many bishop points. This next turn will not be as good, though. I gotta remember that. Like, it just simply will not be as good. So I just play for a long game, um, which may mean, yeah, it's hard. I have to gain bishops. So unfortunately, I do have to kind of push towards the end of the turn somewhat, or the end of the game somewhat. Um, certainly possible for me to get provinces at the end. I don't know. So um, I think I just want the card, just the pure card. It should be okay regardless. Then I mean the the last one we could do this way. I have to think. I have space. Treasures down here at the bottom. Um, maybe another fortress. Maybe just a ghost town. It's treasure ghost town. Yeah, the issue is for sure going to be reaching the end of this. Um, and not having as many points as him. Uh, six is not that exciting. Can't wait till I fail to draw Fortress off these three cards. That'll be great. In which case, I'll have to just hate myself for not playing the. Um, Uh, 
other ghost town. <clears throat> For sure the problem right now is that I'm behind by 21 points. Now I'll score 16 if I draw a fortress, but pile's getting low. He has three gains a turn. That's not that bad. Well, potentially a little more, but roughly three gains a turn. But he can end it on his next turn if he goes for it. Hmm. And I don't think he has to... worry a whole lot about me winning yeah I think I'm pretty much toast Remodel Druid, okay. Okay. Let's do it one at a time, real slow, like, okay. So we didn't make it quite to the end of it, but. <coughs> and we very, we very nearly died there. So he added two more gains. Well, and also he has two, so he has two, and then he has three, four, five, six. So he has six gains now. So like, if he sees enough of the deck, he just will win. Um, for sure, it's guaranteed. So I have to like, I don't know actually what I have to do. I can't win. Um, there's no way I can get five things. He'll just have, he'll have a ton of money and gains and he probably gets there. Mm. I don't even know what it looks like if he like doesn't get there exactly. I could gain a flag bearer that's not that appealing. Can gain duchies again. That's not that appealing. I do have more money this turn. The problem is, well, one of many problems. Is like he's going to. It's not clear to me how to get to a finish other than have the game last really long and have him have a bunch of crappy turns, but that's not going to happen. So, like, I can score nine here, but I'm still missing. 
like I'm still missing a fortress. Um, what's down here? There's a ghost town. There's another ghost. There's a. Are there two fortresses or just one? That's what I don't know. Er, wait. Um, like, does the Dutch even help me? Or do I need to get the gains to have a three pile if possible? I need him to have a bunch of durations in here. He doesn't have that many. I have so many. This seems like so bad. <laughs> like it just seems terrible. Already we have these two, even though we actually cleaned it. The, the ghost reveals were actually maybe not totally clean. The province wasn't clean, but the duchy was. We just happened to draw it. It's like, yeah, he just has to get, he has to just find a druid. He has one in hand already. Oh, he has no more actions. Oh, he's going to desperation. Man, that stinks. He probably had no more action because he stopped. He's one of these people who will stop if he has it exact. So you never know if they uh, actually kind of had a bad draw or if they literally just stopped because they saw how to win it. It's the worst. It's not the worst. It's, it's quite fine. Um, all right, so... I need to win or tie from now on, I guess. <clears throat> this is going to be pain. Oh, it's just a little weak here. I mean, livery, but the... I mean, it, there are some things you can do with livery here, for sure. Livery alliance stuff, I guess, is possible. I don't know if you want canal... Probably. I don't know how you hit five here. Other than you can, you know, you can get lucky. Or you can set aside enough stuff with Native Village, I guess. Is another way. Maybe that's the, maybe that's the trick. Um, otherwise it's just really pretty gross <clears throat> with catapult we have to well we'll just be under attack right so he's opening steward which seems fine um, even if you get attacked by a catapult you still get a uh, pretty good steward turn um, I 
guess you can just try to I don't know if this is gonna go bad I have this feeling If you can get two liveries down an alliance, like that's a pretty reasonable thing to do as long as you have well you get yeah, you get eight horses. No, you only get six horses. Eh, okay, that's not that's not quite as appealing. Okay, so here we have Yeah, we're already in this game for me. I think I'll just buy a native village. It's not clear that this is the right call at all, but trashing two coppers didn't seem that appealing to do with Stuart. Um, so he'll just, yeah. Well, that's the way it's going to go here. another here will come the cat well he either had collision or <coughs> we didn't have collision obviously I think pretty clearly nice nice enough anyway okay he can do that um Okay, that's good, that's good. Do I want another one? Maybe. What do I have now? One, two, three, four. Now, if we had had the silver, well, the silver's on the mat, right? No, the silver diamond. If we had the silver, that would look different. Uh, I'll take another one. Okay, he gets a trove. I'm not totally in love with the trove. But it probably it's okay. I guess the idea is you keep on attacking them a lot. Maybe cursing them some. OK, 
Okay, that's not that good. Warehouse kind of sucks. Um, Do I need this silver? When do I get Forager? Uh, well, it doesn't really matter that much, does it? This wasn't perfect. The order here was not perfect, for sure. Um, Somehow I'm just like way thinner than him. He has a third livery, okay. Still not that much set aside either. Okay, some cleanup here for sure. And I don't have anything set aside right now, so. Not that much cleanup though. Not okay, never mind. He's just this looks really hard for him now. I thought he was gonna get to attack me and since he didn't. Um It's got to be the gold, right? It's not even clear you want the trove. It's not totally clear you want to play the trove to me. But probably since it comes with three horses. Duchy is not going to get you back into this game. No way, no how. Um, if we set aside, we could just set aside three. We don't have to...
Hmm. No, I kind of want it. <clears throat> that was probably pretty badly played as far as order. But I don't think it'll end up mattering much. Duchy's terrible still. <clears throat> I could have tried to draw him, but this seemed like a reasonable place to stop. Something bad happened to him in here somewhere. The, uh, I don't know what it was though, but his first shuffle looked okay. I thought, right? I don't know. Anyway, it all comes down to the list. We have tax. Three, four, okay. Well, it's not your favorite. Um, I can do nothing. I mean, I can buy tax, I guess. Um, unfortunately, there are like silver equivalents here. So, um, and I don't know whether he has 4-3 or 3-4, so it's not, like, obvious to me. I mean, the thing you want to do here is have a lot of minions. Like, that seems pretty clearly the play. <coughs> like, double aces isn't terrible for that. You would probably want to get an ironmonger with it. But double aces isn't the worst thing in the world. So the tax may do nothing, right? The problem is there are silver equivalents. So like I tax silver, he just buys an oasis, which then it kind of shifts. Anyway, I'm willing to do it like this. Um, He didn't really get anything here. I guess he'll tax something, but that's not a huge deal. <coughs> um, I have a reasonable shot of hitting five. Which first five might be Paddock, maybe Minion though. He just buys nothing. He gets five. We'll see what he goes with first. He may mint. Well, he doesn't have the. He didn't buy. A, he didn't. He can't mint yet. He did mint. I must be confused about something because I don't really see how he can mint. I can mint. Though. Three oasis. I could mint. Probably as good a minute as I can expect to get. <clears throat> I 
Because now he, I guess he still has three, but he can't buy anything this turn. I don't know. I don't know. Cannot buy anything this turn. You can tax something, but there's just like Iron Mars. Yeah, that's whatever. That makes sense. Um, it's not going to help him, but it makes sense. Mm, story makes sense. Maybe I should have done that. All right. Uh, so it's Oasis Copper Estate. That's not going to, we won't want to trigger this. Now I start attacking for sure. This is a great starting hand for attacking. Devil's Workshop does not look that great to me. Here we're guaranteed to both hit five, well six really, and attack. Tax just whatever. I even buy something else. It's not clear he'll ever hit five. Or it's pretty clear he'll never hit five. Well, that was scary, but... Okay, well... Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Managed to win barely. Um, quite happy, quite lucky in the last two after my blunder in the first one. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'll see y'all later.